Welcome to the video by DJ SPRC. Something new on the channel. Not sure if I'll have time this year to run it, but definitely gonna try. We have the Sonic Wake 36 inch self riding DV RTR. It's a nice boat, 15 miles plus, 1900 KV. It is 36 inch. Uh, this is just reaction batteries, 5,050 uh, Cs. It has EC5, Dynamite Prospect Sport Duo. Charger that they recommend. I would not use the Prospect Sport Duo personally, but what can I say? That's what uh, Horizon Hobbies recommend. It is an awesome boat. Uh, yeah. Let's open and see what's inside. Let's examine this thing a little bit closer. If it wants to open. There we go. Don't need. Let's go in the front here first. It comes with an STX2 remote. Good entry level remote. I do say entry level, but if you want something a little bit better, I would go at least with DX3. It gives you your power too if you have the Spectrum technology. They do give you a stand. And the normal jogging, but yeah, instructions, battery, and an antenna tube. The only thing I don't like Doesn't really matter, but the rudder does it on the stand itself. It's on balance, but yeah, probably gonna three D print a better stand. I think I'm losing the stand underneath. don't like that because physically right now it's it's sitting on on itself even if you bring it closer to the back itself it's on balance okay right now it's kind of it's of it's yeah don't like that yeah but like I said probably gonna 3d print a better stand that keeps it a little bit higher. Let's see what's inside. The canopy is made out of plastic, not fiberglass. Good thumb screws. Love that. If you look inside, it is a dual battery. A 6S machine. It has a Dynamite Marine uh, ESC and a Dynamite Marine 1900 KV four pole uh, brushless motor with a Spectrum 605 uh, servo. Not bad of a servo, but there is better out there for sure. Uh, STX MRX 200 Marine receiver. And if you're wondering why is this part here taking a lot of room and there's none on this side here, I will show you in a second or two here. And it's part with this here too. 
this boat does have self writing basically if you're uh i was about to say driving but then it's it's you are driving you're on the water itself and you're going full blast and hit a wave and you physically flip your boat okay or upside down the cavity in the back right here you see it the two holes will fill up with water and basically flip the boat back and once it's flipped back it needs an exit to build go out the water and this that way when you start driving air and pressure will empty the rest of the hull out of water that's one thing i do like in the back of our boat we do have a rudder it is aluminum our stability fins are aluminum again that i do love and we do have a stainless prop with it it's not a plastic prop or a hose to be able to cool down our, uh, our motor and ESC. There is options you can do uh, on the net to grab another rudder and have dual output. Basically, you're feeding another water line inside. You're cooling the motor by itself and you're cooling the ESC by itself. Because right now, the water goes in the motor. If your motor is hot, goes out, goes back in your ESC and exit the boat. You're basically now really cooling your uh, ESC down. Uh, you're using kind of a hot water to cool it. That's why a lot of guys will grab a different uh, rudder and to have dual output to be able to cool this guy down even better. But besides that, out of the box, this is an awesome boat. I can't wait to try it out. Uh, if the weather can permit it, because right now we're a lot of rain. It's the season, unfortunately. Uh, it took a while to get this boat in. It's been on order for a couple of months now. Uh, if it's not even longer, I don't remember the date uh, this was ordered. But the Sonic Wake, 36 inch, an awesome boat. Uh, yeah. If you guys have any questions or comments about this boat, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. See you in the next one.